All right, welcome brothers in Christ. Today I have a new YouTube video for you. This is going to be the first video experimenting with something completely different. I usually base all my videos around lifting, working out, fitness, nutrition, which I will still be continuously making videos on, but I think I wanna broaden out my YouTube content. So here I have a video on a lot of the things that I've been studying on specifically when it comes to family relationships, sexual dynamics between men and women, and what works ultimately, what has historically worked in the past, and what has led to good families. And overall, society is driven from families. If there are good families, then good people come and sprout out of good families. Good children will become good adults with good morals and life will be better, society would, would operate better and function better if people didn't have things like um, trauma from a divorce, like a divorce within parents at a young age. And typically, especially if it happens from one of the parents cheating, that child then will grow up struggling going out through with relationships, going out with the opposite sex because they have this instilled fear fear from their parents' relationship not working out, and then they believe that their relationship won't work out either. It's subconscious programming that happens from a young age due to the unfortunate event of their parents' relationship not working out, their marriage failing, them getting divorced. It's just very, very toxic, and this is affecting so many people in this world. And so what I'm going to do is pretty much teach you everything that I have learned from scripture from videos of other people who have studied this who have dove deep into why relationships are failing and so i have a very very broad amount of knowledge i have a lot of information to get into here this is what works this is going to be this is going to be from a religious perspective and the reason why is because that's just what works. That is just what works. So at least, at least not necessarily religious, but from the belief in God, that's very, very important here. So I'm going to just preface that before I get into this. So just be prepared. It's going to come from that perspective. If you are not interested in that, or you just are completely against that, then you can click on this video or you could watch if you're still curious as to what I have to offer. So why nuclear family is peak exclamation points. So I'm going to dive into this. So pretty much what a nuclear family is, is a man and a woman, they get married and they have children, okay? And they, they stay married until death do them part, which is what the vow of marriage is. And they do a good job to raise their kids. So the best way for the outcome of a solid marriage is, is when the hierarchy is in a proper structure. So... There is a hierarchy to men, women, and children, right? That is the hierarchy. It's in that order. But since modern day education systems are not involving faith, religion, or God into the picture, <clears throat> God is no longer in the hierarchy. And what happens when God is no longer in the hierarchy in modern day secularist belief system what happens is that women do not have trust respect or faith in their man and this ultimately leads to failure when the woman does not have respect for the man that relationship will fail 1000 percent. and it's just the same if a man does not have love for his woman his wife the relationship will also fail those are the two most important ways for a relationship between a man and a woman to work. See, when, for men, for us men, we, we need respect from the woman. So it's kind of, it's not necessarily we are looking down, but it kind of is this dynamic of a woman is looking up to us and she is helping us with our objective but ultimately it is our objective the man is the head of the relationship and the woman is the neck okay she can give you 
advice. She can try to guide you in a certain direction. She can, she can give her input, right? But ultimately we are the head. We make the decision. We make the ultimate decision and we just gather all the things that she has to say. For example, if we, let's say the man loses his job, she's trying to guide him into a good career, a, a different like path or, or trying to just help him through that decision. Or maybe he's thinking about a promotion he's thinking about taking it if it is worth it and then she can give her input just a very very simple example of that or a more um, generalized example is if let's say the man has a certain rule set for children in the house for discipline the woman can give her input maybe she doesn't want it to be super strict that usually tends to happen and then the man can make the ultimate final decision maybe give some leeway if she provides good logic that makes sense okay now, the thing is, when God is in the picture, okay, God gives men purpose, okay? And if you believe in God, if you are a man who believes in God, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit and you will be able to guide a woman to a good life because you have virtue, you have moral obligation, okay? When you have moral obligation in the Holy Spirit, a woman will feel that sense of security with you because she can feel your, your stoicism, your confidence, she can feel your security, Okay, when a man believes in God, he has moral obligation, meaning a woman won't be really insecure as much with the thought of the negative thought of, oh, he might go and cheat on me. You know, like, why is he staying with me? Because ultimately, God looks at everyone's actions and will judge you the day we die. We either go to hell or heaven. And a man who is who is God fearing will make sure he prays every night. He's reading his scripture. He's following the, the, the life and the path that God has given him. And he will be righteous. So he will not cheat. You will not have, a, as a female, you will not have this, oh, is he going to cheat on me? It's just not even, it's just not even possible. I would never cheat on a woman. I wear this cross. I carry my cross as God has given me, as Jesus has told me to. I'm carrying my cross and I'm walking the life of righteousness. I'm not going to cheat on a woman. So let's say a woman gets with me. She should not have any any insecurities or thoughts of me cheating on her um, or doing anything wrong by her, you know? I'm going to guide her in the right direction, okay? So that's why God is important. God will give men a purpose and moral obligation. And that's gonna give the man a direction. And the man is best suited for direction. Think about it this way. Um, God made Adam first right? And then eventually, when he was working, he took Adam's rib, one of Adam's ribs, and gave him Eve. The woman came from the man. The man was the first creation um, in terms of human species. And so he was doing the work in the first place, and he was better suited to do the work. She was there to support him, okay? Even from a biblical perspective, from, from the origin of life, that's how it was. So that's why I said in the beginning of this video, we're going to look at what has historically worked. And more people were religious historically, let's say like the 80s, 70s, like if you were to gather everyone and see who believed in God, more people believed in God in the past. For some reason, secularism has started to take over in the modern day world just because of science and people think that because, because of science that God doesn't exist. You know, that's, I can, that, that's a separate video, but science and God are together. They make sense. So anyway, when the man has his purpose, the woman will be able to respect him. It'll kind of just come. So if you're a God fearing man, you're on your purpose. See, that's the thing though, is that men can either, can either follow the purpose that God has given them in the direction that he wants you to take, or you could just deny him. When you deny him, that's when things don't go well. So let we're going to we're going to use this example that you are following God's path that he has lined out for you. He will eventually, when he, when he sees fit, send you a woman. And he will not send you a toxic woman with, a woman with, with negative traits. He will send you a God-fearing woman as well. She has been going to church. She is most likely, more, more than not, um, more likely than not a virgin. She has been with her parents. Her parents both love each other. They have that dynamic that... The man loves the woman and the woman respects the man. And she has grown up with that. So she knows exactly what she's getting herself into. She has that example to look up to. She's going to, 
she's been taught by her mother to respect men so she's going to take that into the relationship when god sends her to you she's going to respect you and you're going to love her because god has shown you that's the way to go about it so what the what the man does is he passes on love from god and guidance and direction he is that fortitude he is that the head of the relationship and then what the woman is going to do is support him on his mission she's like i said she's the next so she's able to give you advice and she's able to give you input and then you make the final decision like i mentioned before she gives respect and she submits that's a big thing submission for some reason that throws so many modern day females off they don't like that they don't like submission and it's because they've taken on masculine frames feminine frame is submission is ultimately wanting to respect a man and wanting to follow my direction because that's that's ultimately what works so unfortunately like i said most females in this generation don't really have that anymore i feel like there's more men that are following god and believing god and into scripture than there are females which is normal that's that's how it's supposed to be but it's to the point where it's even just more difficult because the feminist indoctrination into females to go to school to get a career and to do all that stuff and to have a masculine frame independence and have that direction that's not for them that direction is for us so that's why things are not working out so you gotta i'm, I'm, t I'm telling you this is this is how things are gonna work right you want to look for a woman and if she has a feminist mindset as a man it's going to be a challenge but ultimately you can always reframe their mind you could show them that this is the way this is the way that things are going to work out and if they don't like it you're out god didn't send you that woman if she did if he did it was just a test and if you leave you passed if you stay you you lost you'll learn a lesson if you stay long enough and then you end up having heartbreak after and it's because you just gave the wrong woman your love i've dealt with that so um and then the child comes later on well m m obviously marriage is going to happen at some point before you have the child um you get married and then you make a covenant you make a vow you guys will stay together no matter what happens no matter what obstacles come your way you will stay together until death do you part. Okay, that's already done. Next, you want to make a child. Why? You want to have children because you want to be able to improve society long term. If you just do it, if you just have marriage and you don't have children, you could go that route. But it's I would say it's better to have children because then you can pass on your qualities, your values, your morals, all to your children, and they can sprout to young men, young women, and then society will just start to clean up and start to become better better the more the more adults in society that we have that are that have the core good values and just moral obligation they aren't cheating they aren't drinking they aren't smoking they aren't doing anything degenerate they're being good they're on their path a woman is staying clean she's not going out hooking up going to clubs a man is doing the same thing but he's also chasing a career he's chasing he, he's he's seeking out god's path for him and then he's going to follow that ultimately and then a woman will eventually find a man who is just like just like that so this is a more in-depth explanation here this is kind of how it works i i put it here as in just very broad terms but this is a little more specific so it starts like this god gives a man a purpose a man follows the purpose while upholding virtues so he's trying to be righteous he's trying to be god-fearing Ultimately, if you be, believe in God, you are God-fearing just innately. And then you're going to try to become more righteous, stay on this path. God gives man a woman eventually as a helpmate once he sees fit. And then the man will guide the woman to a good life, right? As If you're a God-fearing man, you can provide the best life for a woman and a family. If if not, it's not. It's If you don't have that root structure of him at the top, you don't have that obligation. You can always just sub. You can just subconsciously or even consciously consciously say, "Oh, I don't really need to uphold these values." Oh, there's another woman. Oh, there's my my coworker female. Oh, she's into me. And you know, let's say something's going on in your marriage and your wife isn't giving you sex. You don't have that moral obligation to say no to that. You can just go ahead and dabble. Go ahead and have sex with your coworker. 
there's no repercussions after you die because you don't believe there's a there's even anything to come and so there's no there's no moral obligation that's why this is this is huge this is huge and having more obligation as a man so that's a good life that she would she would love and you explain it to her and then she submits and has faith in you to guide her in the right path and then you have children and pass on your good values and then society will be improving because right now society is very degenerate so many men and women have horrible mindsets on relationships there is a lot of cheating going on like massive amounts of cheating it's ridiculous and it's it's a shame i think it comes a lot from the secularism of this society and in modern day mo more people are becoming secular but i also do on the other hand do see a a massive rise and waking up to the truth of scripture there's so many things going on with the government actors like adrenochrome actors or sa satanic uh worshipers um i know i'm wearing this shirt this is my coach's shirt i i don't i don't um condone satan satanism in any way i'm wearing this cross um, um this is just a logo but i am a god-fearing man and i do believe in jesus christ and so i think that once more people start to do that society will become good again families will work again divorce rates will drop and things will be good so this is this is very new for me making videos like this giving presentations but i really want to send the message out there even though it's not the greatest i will improve the more i do it i know i'm a little all over the place i will eventually get better at keeping my structure and staying on point but i hope you guys did enjoy this video that was the full message god man woman child all right so i'll see you guys in the next video take care